What's up, YouTube? This is Robbie from Two Brothers Gaming, and this is iPod King Carter's So You Think You Can Commentate. As a matter of fact, iPod King Carter, I do think I can commentate. I am Robbie. The channel's Two Brothers Gaming. Go check it out. It's X Robbie H 14 x A little bit of background about me. I love basketball. Loved it all my life since I was five years old. My brother and I both play and uh, then play the video games as well. We're just big basketball geeks. Love our channel. Love all the stuff that we do with the videos and stuff. We've gotten a bigger following lately, and I said, hey, why not? You know, just put a video up on iPod King Carter's channel, see if some other people like it. See if we can try to expand our audience and everything. So, big shouts to the Superman of YouTube, iPod King Carter. I watch every one of his videos, and he does some awesome stuff, man. Hey, how about that pass to John Wall for the game one and three? That's unselfish ball. That's how they do it out in Philly. You see that guy with the mohawk. He's weird, right? I'm not playing with Kevin Durant. I'm playing with the dude with the mohawk. This is my my player center. He is athletic center, 7-2. He's only like a 67 overall because I'm only a few games into the season. I've been injured and I simmed some games. Who the journeyman is just what his name implies. He is a journeyman player. I can't seem to get him to fit on the right team. I started this series with a my player in NBA 2K11 by the same name, of course, and the same look. I just wanted to make him wild and crazy and remind everybody that, hey, we take this thing too seriously sometimes. Let's have some fun with it. Let's get some good commentary, some good gameplay in here. Only one problem. We went down 11 nothing to start this game. That's absolutely crazy. So I had to get in the post and do my work. That's where I do my best stuff this year. Post game in 2K12 is off the chain, so it's pretty sweet. I'm enjoying being able to get out and run that break. That's why I picked an athletic guy as opposed to a rebounding center, which I did last year. I was pretty uh, pretty good by the end of last year. Ended up with a 99 overall, so pretty cool. That's what I'm aiming for with this. But 2K11, who the journeyman blew up on Two Brothers Gaming. That's sort of how we got started with everything, really developing our audience and getting more people to check our videos out. So. Now we've recently got an HD PVR. We tried to do one of these so you think you can commentate, but iPod King Carter couldn't see it very well because it was a Dazzle DVC 100. That right there is a missed dunk, right? Well, we got some hometown refs on our side. That one counted. So I don't know what was up with that, but I'm really loving this My Player this year. A lot of people hate on 2K12, but you know, it's got good stuff and it's got bad stuff about it. I really don't think that. Uh, you know, I don't think that it's as bad as everybody says, but I think it's a big adjustment from 2K11, which, you know, everybody really, really seemed to like. So, I think we nitpick a little bit, but hey, it's all about the game. If you can get in there and do stuff like that, you're going to have a lot of fun with the game. So, my my idea of it with this who the journeyman, as I mentioned, you know, he just can never find a good situation to be on. That is included in the, with the Thunder. As you can see, the, the Warriors are just a crazy team to play. They're really good in real life. But not, you know, insane. They're they're about a 500 team. They're headed in the right direction. They got Bogut and Curry, and they're going to be at full strength. Got some good stuff in the draft with Harrison Barnes, I believe. Lots of good stuff going on there. But in this game, they are especially insane because the three-point shot is broken. A lot of people complain about that, but I do think there's some validity to that. It's honestly just really crazy to me how many threes they can make. Kevin Durant just cheesed them back, but the Warriors are hell to play in this game, man. It's crazy, so I can never find a good situation. You see that uh, when I asked to be traded to the Timber from the Timberwolves to the Thunder, Ricky Rubio came with me. Only one problem with that. James Harden's hurt right now, so I don't have him, and I also don't have Russell Westbrook because he was traded in part for that whole deal. So I got me and Durant. And then I'm waiting on Harden to come back from injury. Got Rubio. He's an awesome teammate. Really hooks me up, as you can see there. But uh, you know, I've got to work on that post game. That, that low post shot is doing all right. But I've really got to get my skills up with my shot close to my layup. It really burns me sometimes. That's a stupid shot. Why would you miss that layup? Let me pick up your garbage, man. Let me just get that for you. One of the best moves in the game, spin move. I developed that right away as an ability, and I was loving that. We're still down 13. The, the Warriors hit three threes and a two to start this game and just kicked us in the mouth right away. Put us down 11 to nothing, and we're still trying to recover. I mean, I'm having a pretty good game. I'm not going to lie. I've got a few blocks. I've got a few rebounds. 
That spin move is vicious, though. That's what I got to do. Cheesing them up. Pump fakes. You just look at the defender and see what they're going to do. So, having a good time with that. That's a stupid shot. Why would I do that? Just dunk it. <laughs> I got to work on that uh, standing dunk as well. I got a lot of work to do to him. Like I said, he's only a 67, so go easy on me. I'm not terrible. I'm just trying to get my guy up here. But I figured I'd give you guys this view. You can see that I also on the channel, we have two associations going on between my brother Bill and I. And uh, we also have, eh, I'd say, three regular My Players with some other stuff sprinkled in there. We also have another channel dedicated to Let's Plays. So if you guys are into something a little bit different, maybe some adventure type games, Assassin's Creed and some of that stuff, uh, go ahead and check out Let's Plays all day as well. But this channel is about sports video gaming and it's about two brothers gaming. I even created Helicopter from the N1 series, so if you want to check that out, I basically got players at every position, so if you make a request, I'm likely to make a video. I like to make my subscribers happy, I like to make them feel like they're part of a community, so, oh my goodness, that's a Duncan community right there. Look at the spin, look at the poster, I love it, man, I feel like Shaq Diesel just hanging on the rim. Let me see that again. Beedrins, you're too small. Udo, you're too small. Oh my god, speaking of too small, how did Stephen Curry block me? That was basically the end of the game. We ended up losing. And that's one of the other things I wanted to make the point on before I get out of here. We show when we lose. We show when we screw up. We show when we're not perfect. Some commentators, and I'm not going to name names, but some commentators get on here and say, man, I'm awesome, and they edit all their videos up to make it like they never make a turnover, never miss a shot, and never take a loss. Guys, you know that's not true. Quit fronting. It's crazy. So I took a loss, but it's okay. I had a big game, 53 and 15, if I'm not mistaken. Not a good game from your team tonight. Is there anything positive you can take from a game with a final score as lopsided as this one? Did I mention that I act like a jerk in the press conferences? I gotta have some fun, fun with this. Some funky answers. Well, there was my performance, but besides that, pretty much nothing. It's one of those games you just gotta throw in a trash heap and forget about it. I hate losing any game, but to lose by a lot, even worse. I'm going to let these guys hear about it too, believe me. Coach don't even need to show up to practice tomorrow. I'll run the show, and I'll make sure every single one of the guys on this team knows what went wrong and where they need to improve, myself included, except for the improving part because I'm peak form already. I'm peak form already. Well, I hope you enjoy this sort of peak form commentary. Thanks for watching, and if you like what you see, head over to my channel, our channel, subscribe for more.